Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. It's happening. Explosion rocks at Tiku's Rally Media House in River State. Now, everything that happens with all the fingers goes to Wiki, the governor of the state, because himself and Atiku, as we all know, that um, they are not... They are not in the best of terms. And so everything that happens, you know, Wiki is the is the is the is the go-to person in terms of anything that happens to Atiku's thing. And so everyone is saying that uh, it could be the handiwork of the governor of the state because he's not in support of um they are not allies, you know. So these are some of the things that are going on, and every single one of us, you know must do what is needed, right, and necessary to bring us to the right position. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Explosion rocks Atiko's allies media house in River State. Explosion suspected to be the dynamite on Tuesday night rocked a facility housing two media houses in Port Harcourt, in River State, the capital. Late Nigeria gathered that the two media outlets are owned by Chingere Agu, a member of the House of Representatives, staunch supporter of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, presidential candidate Alaji Atiku Abubakar. Speaking with reporters on Wednesday, Agu confirmed the attack on the facility, adding that the generator house of the facility was badly affected by the explosion. The federal lawmaker added that he has informed the police about the explosion and some detachment of the police have visited the scene of the incident. He said, we have informed the police some the some department of the police came and the DPO called to inform me today some bomb expert, experts are coming for further investigation to ascertain what really happened. Recall that the governorship candidate of the Social Democratic SDP in River State, Senator Margo Abe, escaped assassination attempt. So a lot has been going on in River State and every single person is going through one issue or the other. Nigerians wondering what exactly is happening and how this country can become a better place. So this is part of what is going on and every single one of us can see that we must do everything needed and humanly speaking possible to bring us to where we need to be. Nigerians are wondering what this election holds with politicians going overboard, doing things that are not right, some doing things that are not needed because they want to have a position or they want to hold on to a particular position. So this is what is happening, my lovely, wonderful people. It is important that we see it together and we make wise use of what is going on to ensure that we do not allow the same thing. Atiku and, um, you know, uh, River State Governor Isom Wiki have been at loggerheads uh, with Wiki not uh, budging, Atiku not budging. And so uh, the, the compromise of meeting at a common point has been greatly hampered and hindered. And so you can see for yourself that things are not the way they should be. Every single one of us must watch, watch out for what is going on and ensure that at the end of the day, we do not put people, Nigerians, in difficult position because this country must become a better place for not just one, but for every single one of us. And so whatever is needed to be put in place so that we can truly have that nation that we also desire, okay, it's important that we do not leave, leave things alone. You know, we must ensure that we do all that is needed. Everything that you need, you know, to put Nigeria back on place. Okay? Every, everything we need to put Nigeria back in place is right within our grabs. And so nobody, nobody should take it for granted that we need to work to ensure that we have the right candidate. Yeah? You don't have to go and destroy people's property because they are supporting a particular candidate. We don't know who for sure has done it now, but that but the lady 
who has that that uh, property has suffered loss because there is two fighting so please don't let politicians use you at the end of the day they will take it true they will pretend as if nothing happened meanwhile you and i will be left you know some you do you know that somebody was amputated in Lagos state recently went for a rally and you know got injured and the injury is so much that it cannot just be managed they have to amputate is it the hand yeah they have to amputate one of the hands so that's why we are saying please be very careful be very very careful see politicians funny enough whoever he's supporting does not even know what has happened to him it is because of this age that we are in that is the media age that's why you're even hearing of it but that person unless by some miracle has permanently been deformed for life you know you imagine you that have two hands is it enough to do everything you want to do then imagine that somebody who has been used to you know working with both hands all of a sudden is losing one just imagine just just think about it and see what that person may be going through it must be really tough and make matter worse we don't even know if such an individual is the breadwinner of his family and what that family will be going through as a result of this incident or happening that have gone on with one of their own so it is important we pay great attention okay it is important none of us should sit back there and just fold our hands and think that all of a sudden things will just fall in place because we are dancing no no there is work to be done yes okay there is work to be done every single one of us okay must work accordingly and ensure that we do not you know leave things to chance okay we must not leave things to chance every one of us must ensure that we do everything humanly speaking possible and ensure that at the end of the day nigeria is the priority it's not the me priority it's not the it's not the you is we we must see beyond me it must become the us we must see beyond the me. We must see beyond that and we must ensure that at the end of the day, what we want is a good government. Are we saying the, the, such a government, everything will be fixed at once? That's not the point of call. That's not what we are saying. But somebody, a man or a woman who truly have the heart of this nation, before you know it, they begin to put things in order gradually. Gradually. They begin to put things together gradually. That's how we move. It's not a splint. It's a marathon. So it, it requires serious work. It's not just a, it's not just one size fits all. Yeah? Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. God bless. Have a good day. Bye for now.